Hi, this is Ken Wells, NAM9P, and we're going to try to explain how to adjust for a brand new microphone on the Flex 6000 series using the full duplex monitoring capabilities that were released in uh, software version 1.5, 1.51. The first uh, thing to do is set it up. I've got uh, a frequency chosen in the middle of the 6 meter band. I'm listening on uh, slice B, transmitting on slice A, using the transverter output to transmit. I'm receiving on antenna 1. I could just as well receive on antenna 2, which has nothing connected to it. I'm getting ready to test with the the included FHM1 hand microphone that was included in the uh, Flex 6000 series. Uh, I have it set in the position number one on the uh, tone control in the back. That is a wide band tone control. You don't really need tone control two because that uh, could be easily replicated by using the equalizer and the other features on the uh, uh, rig. So you don't really need the switch on the microphone to do that unless you're uh, in a hurry to add just a little bit of extra high boost. Uh, but most of the time I would prefer to use a wideband microphone and then use the equalizer to make it sound the way you want to. You have more control that way. Okay, the microphone is plugged into the front of the rig and so I'm using the microphone uh, connection on uh, the, uh, the rig here. And I'm starting out with, I, I took the default, but then I modified it already. I've got the low cut at 100, the high cut at 3000, because I want to make it sound as good as I can with a, a wider but not too wide audio uh, bandwidth. And then I can narrow it down from there in order to create uh, a rank to profile and a, uh, a DXing profile or anything else. I've got the mic gain set at about a 74 depending on your voice you might want to change it differently uh, turn the processor off and have it ready for normal when you get ready to test it there you don't want the monitor on if you're monitoring yourself with the uh, the full duplex part of the rig uh, besides that the monitor doesn't give you any idea what you actually sound like because the monitor is tapped out before the equalization before the filtering and before the processor so it's good to to tell whether you're talking since or not but it has no real replication of what your audio is like. I have my transmit audio set on and uh, flat, completely flat, because I want you to hear what the mic sounds like absolutely flat, and then we're going to equalize it. So I'm going to uh, switch over now to the rig and uh, turn off my studio mic. Here we go. Okay, this is NM9P. Transmitting with the transverter port in the rig. First thing to do is adjust your mic input. I'm a little bit hot here, so I'm going to uh, just bump it down a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. A little bit more. Okay, notice uh, this is what the standard wideband microphone sounds like. By the way, proper mic uh, technique, you always talk across a hand mic. You never write into it. I hold it up close to my cheek and uh, keep it about an inch or two away from it and then speak across it. If you talk right into it, you will start blowing into it like this. So, uh, and just speak across it. Let the mic do its work. Okay, the first thing you notice as you uh, uh, zoom in, you'll notice I'm way, way, way bassy. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start dropping the 63 all the way down. That really doesn't affect much, uh, except it rolls out some of that real low droning stuff, especially since I'm cutting everything off with the filter at 100 hertz anyway. So it's really not necessary. The other thing that's not necessary is the 8K. Nothing's going out there anyway. A 4K, uh, it kind of overlaps a little bit with the 2K, so I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to pull back the 125. You can tell a little bit of improvement now if you can uh, listen with a good set of headphones or a good set of speakers. And if you look up here, you can tell I'm still too hot in the low end, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to tell, uh, drop the uh, 250 down some more. And you can tell that took some of the boominess and the muddiness away. And I'm going to just twinker them a little bit more. And then uh, there's still too much 500, so I'll drop those down a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Now, in the world of audio equalization, the rule is if you want to make it sound better, cut. If you want to make it sound different, boost. That's one of the rules that was uh, printed in one of the links that's available on the Flex Radio community. And I believe that overall. 
It's pretty good advice. So the first thing you do, you don't start boosting first. You start cutting out what's excessive. And uh, so there we go. I cut down a little bit more of that. Cut more 500 out. It's still a little bit too much. And then what's missing? Uh, after I've cut down the low, so it's too, uh, so it's not too bad. Then I'm going to take the part of my voice that really needs some emphasis. Uh, the enuncials, the, the high frequency sparkle. So I'm going to take the 2K and start raising that a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Can you hear that difference there? Now the, uh, co the consonants and the sibilance frequencies are a little bit live. And uh, I'm also going to bring up the 4K a little bit just to bring that high end up a little bit. Uh, I've got that up now to about a six. One, two, three, four, five. CQ, CQ, this is November, Mexico, 9 Papa, and M9P. Well, I'm almost there. Uh, check my uh, mic level now. Since I've boosted some high frequencies, you can notice it's overmodulating a little bit, so I've got to cut that back a little bit. So on my voice peaks, I'm still not getting into the, the red, because if you're red, you're dead as far as audio goes. A lot of people don't think that uh, flex means it. If you are getting into the red on the audio meter, you're already starting to add some distortion to, distortion to your audio, and you don't want that, because then when you add the processor, what's already distorted will only get worse. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Hello, hello. Let's uh, take a look at a few other frequencies. Maybe I need a little bit more on a 2K. I don't know, just looking at my, uh, my graph. And uh, perhaps I will play with the 1K a little bit, see if it'll add a little bit of extra power. One, two, three, four, five. There is just a little bit, and I added a little bit of extra boost to the voice. Now let's see what it sounds like when I turn the processor on. This is November, Mexico, 9 Papa, NM9P. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, if I want to fine tune that, I might uh, just move one of the sliders up and down, remembering where I started, and see if it adds anything that sounds good. So I'm going to try a little bit with a 500. Add a little bit, 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And actually, it just sort of makes it a little bit more muddy as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'll try a little bit of 200. Maybe just a little bit on the lower end would sound good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Testing. 1, 2. That didn't sound too bad to add a little bit. I really don't need anything down at 63. Let me see if maybe just a bump of a number or two on the 125 would work. Testing, a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, check my audio. Let me turn the processor off again. Testing, one, two, testing, one, two. I've just added a little bit more equalization, so I need to bump that down maybe one more notch. Processor on, see how it goes. One, two, three, four, five. November Mike, nine, Papa. It's helpful to use a phrase that you're going to use a lot when you're talking to see how it responds, not only on the audio level meter, but how it sounds in the receiver. So you can tell I've got a little bit too much of the S's and stuff. So that means I need to cut back a little bit on the 4K, maybe a couple notches. And maybe I've got just a hair too much at 2K. There we go. That doesn't look too bad, and it doesn't sound too bad. And if you want to play a little bit more, you can add or subtract. But when you do that, just bump it up maybe one or two at a time and listen to it and see what it sounds like. Okay, now we'll try the DX processor. This is November Mike 9 Papa. Testing one, two with the DX. One thing I noticed, if I'm going to do the DX processor, I need to cut the low frequency back a little bit. So uh, I'll turn it back to normal. And before I start experimenting anymore, the first thing I'm going to do is save this profile. So you go up here to Profiles, right here around the left side on the topper, on the upper part of the uh, uh, profile pull down. Pull that down and hit Save Transmit Profile. You don't need to save your voice uh, uh, equalizations in a global profile. Your global profiles will use any of them you choose. So just save a transmit profile and uh, give it a new profile name. I'm going to say hand 
rag. The hand mic rag chew and hit save. When you're done with that, close it out. And now we can make some modifications. So for this modification, I'm going to get off the mic while I make this adjustment. Okay, I took the low cut up to 200. And I took the high cut down to 2900. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Now, if this is going to be a, a DXing profile, I want to take a little bit more of the bass out. So I'm going to bump down the 125 and a 200 about a notch or two and see what that sounds like. Hello, test, one, two, three, four, five. I might still have too much uh, 500, and maybe I need to add a little bit more 2K. Hello, test, November, Mike, nine, papa. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, turn the processor off for a second, readjust my mic gain because I've boosted some other things. Turn it back on and boost it up to DX. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, testing, one, two, three, four, five. That's not too bad. Now turn it up to DX. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Testing, November, Mexico, nine, papa. Testing. Now if you like that, you can uh, save that. I'm going to save that again in Profiles, Save Transmit Profile, and give it a new name. And I'm going to call it DX. And DX, hit Save, and there we go. Now anytime I want either one of those profiles, I can go up here, look for Hand Rag and Hand DX. And I've got two profiles on the hand mic that are not too bad. Now, these are not perfect. If I was going to do it some more, I might uh, take some additional power out of this right here, which is a little bit too peaky. So let me cut back the 500 a little bit and a 250. One, two, three, four, five. That's starting to look a little better. It's still a little hot, maybe around 1,000. One, two, three, four, five. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Maybe a little bit more on the 2K. Testing, one, two. November, Mexico, nine, papa. Testing, one, two. See, this is how you can do it. You just listen to yourself, play with it, adjust it, listen again, and adjust it some more. Okay, then when you're done, save it. Transmit, if you want to save it over something you've already done, then uh, you do that. Let me see, where did I put it? Hand. DX right there, hit save. Now my new profile is saved on hand mic DX. And if I want to go back to the rag chew profile, I got to get off the mic to do that. It doesn't seem to like uh, having the uh, profiles change while you're in the middle of transmitting. So I changed back to the uh, rag chew profile. And uh, that's a little bit more pleasant to listen to, but it doesn't sound like, and it's never going to sound like, my PR-22 or your PR-781 or any number of other microphones that you can buy that are studio mics. It's a hand mic. It's never going to sound as punchy, as clear, as rich as a studio microphone. But you can get it to sound pretty decent for a hand mic. So uh, there are some that uh, will not like it even now. But uh, it's as good as I can get it for the time being uh, with a short demonstration. Your mileage may vary. Play around with it and see what you can do. This is NM9P. Have some fun with your Flex 6000, and uh, let me know how you like it.